Okay, welcome, welcome. Let me shut this off for a second. All right, we're talking about groove today. And it's all about the groove. Um, okay, let's talk about groove. Um, when we play, we use the metronome. Metronome is the most boring instrument in creation, to, but, but the best thing to get our timing together. And we practice our scales using it, and we usually do it either in, in quarter notes, where it's clicking, so it sounds like uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, Um, or we do it in, in, in uh, eighth notes. Right? So it's one and two and three and four and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So really we do it a double, double time. Not really eighth notes because we're not. But, and we notice that the, that the click falls on the one and the three. One, two, three, four, 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 right? And that's typically how uh, we engage with the metronome to get our timing together and to work on our chops and, you know, do all that kind of stuff and shred and whatever your, your scene is. Um, now we're going to use the metronome. We're going to switch that, uh, doing a double time, we're going to switch it from the one and the three on the click, we're going to switch it to two and four. So, and I do this by saying one twice at some point, which d d turns it around. So, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. You feel that? It's like a shift, man. It's, all of a sudden, there's a groove happening. So uh, the best thing that you can do is when you're practicing your scales, you're practicing your chord progressions, is to take that snare, and I call it a snare because once you've taken that click and you've moved it from one to three to two and the four, you're basically imitating the, ba the uh, snare drum uh, for a drummer when you're in a band. And uh, the rest of your head is sort of filling out the rest of the drum kit. But it makes your, your sense of groove and your timing so exacting and succinct because now you're sort of you're you're filling in the rest of it and i would say practice everything that way and practice your jamming that way and in a very short time you're going to see a huge improvement in your overall sense of groove so if anybody has any questions um, or any comments please put it in the comment section of the video and i'll i'll be happy to answer it so and any suggestions of anything that other kind of stuff you want to learn please just let me know and we'll uh, We'll get right on it. We'll, we'll get right to it. We'll make it happen. So um, enjoy. Have a great time. Try it out. Get it, get it happening. And uh, we'll see you soon. Okay. Take care.